Hello all, Igni again, and today we are continuing on with our Versus series, and today we'll be doing the Dolly Choderus Vispunus, whatever, versus the Nibble Tree Ant. So let's get right into it. Um, like I said in the intro, we're going to be going and continuing our versus series today with the DB versus the Nimble Tree Ant. Uh, before we get into that, got to get into user shenanigans. This video is sponsored by Aptoy. We're using my code IGNATE2023. You can get anywhere from 5 to 40% off all in game purchases. A full description of how to take advantage of, mm -hmm. of the sponsor will be down in the description below, as well as a video explaining exactly how to. Uh, take full advantage of this offer. Uh, also, uh, leave a comment down in the description below or on my Discord if you guys are interested in me starting up a Patreon. I've had a few people asking, and uh, the support there would honestly help me continue to make content for you. So, what would you like to see on the Patreon? Let me know in the comments down below and in the Discord, and we will see where that goes. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so as always, we are going to ignore skill one, uh, skill three, skill four, and skill six, as this is pretty universal across all the ants, um, except for when you get into the startup levels, but that, that isn't necessary for this video. So we'll get right into it. So for Nimble Tree Ant, when the battle, uh, when the battle starts, its combat uh, speed is plus 100. In all of our shooter and squad, normal attack it damage is 80%, lasting until the end of the battle. Um, and that's for every round. Okay, so that's good, especially if you happen to be facing like a carrier that naturally has uh, an increased um, combat speed. This helps you to really kind of get up over that gap and be able to possibly land the first hit. Um, plus with that increased normal attack damage, um, that helps you to be able to increase your skill damage, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then we'll go look over at the dolly. And this is a pre-combat skill, effective range two. Um, in the first three rounds, all of our shooter ants squad attack plus 80% and normal uh, attack damage plus 100%. So this is, when comparing to the NTA, the only real difference between this is that you're not having that increased combat speed. But what this is doing is this actually allows you to have more uh, attack damage as well as um, more skill damage. See, as you can compare it, that one has 180, whereas this one, even when start up, only has 120. Uh, at the base, it's only 80%. Now, remember that the attack, you, what your attack is, is based derivative of what your skill damage will be, um, as well as your normal attack damage will take no effect. So as for skill one, I believe that the, the it's really a catch-22. So if you have the lower combat speed, uh, then the NTA is going to help you to be able to hit first, which is crucial for shooters. But overall, if you um, have a strong lineup uh, with it, I think the dolly for the skill two takes the win on that one. All right, we'll get into the next one. This is also a pre-combat skill. In the first three rounds, all of our shooter and squad have 75% chance to enter splash status, and the normal attacks will deal 100% damage to two other enemy squads. Now, this is this is nice, especially if you pair it with the right insect, to where if you have an insect like Godzilla or the uh, the orange mantis, I forget its name, uh, where it already gives um, normal attack damage, then this also gives you more splash damage just off the insect alone. Um, and dealing 100% extra damage, of course, will equate out to having more um, uh, skill attack and skill damage out of it. And that's for the first three rounds, uh, which, as we discussed before in this channel, the first three to four rounds are absolutely crucial for shooter to determine whether you will win the fight or not. And we'll go over to Nimble Tree Amp. This one is uh, it only affects the enemy's front line after a normal attack has a 70% chance to deal 300% uh, plus especially at level 1 damage to the enemy front line increase their skill damage taken by 40%. Um, 
Um, but that is when it is started up. When it's not started up, it has 70% chance to do 250 and increase the skill damage by 30%. Okay, so 250 is a it's a decent number, pretty decent chance. Um, increasing the skill damage, which means that the other lines will be able to put uh, more damage on that front line it is pretty dang good. Um, with the dolly, uh, increasing the normal, it's a pre-combat skill, 75% chance. Uh, to deal 100 to two enemy squads. Uh, so that adds right on to the splash damage effect that we have from skill two, which means that potentially you can add another 100% damage, making it 200% damage before you even hit the skill damage, giving the potential of 200% skill damage to two enemy squads. So again, with this one, um, I think that Dolly takes the cake on that. Um, NTA is a real close second on that, but I, I think the dolly is the better option overall. All right, we'll get into the next one, shooter and health. And for the nimble, it's also shooter and health. So those are the same. And we'll get into the last skill. All right, uh, two random friendly squads within effective range. Effective range two has a 70%, uh, well, let me look at what if I, has a 60% chance to allow two random squads to normal attack one more time, lasting for one round. Okay, that's good. It means they can boost your overall potential normal attack by one more time. So if you add that with the other ones, um, like with this one, so it can potentially give you about 220 normal attack. Um, so that's that's pretty good. And we'll look at the dolly. And it's another pre-combat skill. In the first three rounds, our front line enters counterattack status. When receiving normal attack, has a 100% chance to counterattack, dealing 180 plus special ant level uh, times one damage to the attacker. This is a nasty, because if you're stacking them with everything else, I mean, you got another 100% there, you got uh, another 180% there, um, another 180 percent there so you're looking in at like 500 percent right off the bat that is happening pretty much every round so you're increasing your other two lines by 500 percent almost every single round mm -hmm. that is uh very very overpowering so what do i think of these two ants uh again i think that the uh the nimble tree ant it's it's going to be more for those that have the lower combat speed to be able to push yourself over um, more base versus like a carrier squad. Uh, whereas the Dolly, honestly, I think it's just overall uh, the better ant. Um, even in a in this scenario where you have the lower combat speed, it has the potential of just sheer shock and, and awe power uh, to really put you over the edge and take the win. So... That's what I think. I think the Dolly, um, honestly, the, the Nimble Tree Ant and Dolly. Dolly, you can actually use in PvE. Um, Nimble Tree Ant, you really can't. So I would think that um, the Dolly is the better choice for both PvE and PvP. But that about wraps it up. Egg nays out. We'll see you in the next one.